States and the United Kingdom have launched attacks on Iranian-backed Houthi rebels inside Yemen. Unfortunately, I grew up 
in Colombia during the 70s, 80s, and 90s where narcotraffic was moving. I know those people. I was surrounded by them. I know what they did. I know what that kind of business can do to a family, to a person, to a country. An estimated quarter of a million people were killed during Colombia's decades-long drug war. Among the casualties, Vigara's own brother, Rafael. My brother was killed during that time. My brother was part of that business. I know what it feels like. I know what that world is. Vergara grew up in Barranquilla, Colombia. Her father was a cattle rancher and her mother a homemaker. At 17, she was discovered on the beach and cast for this Pepsi commercial. Wanted me to do it, but I was in a Catholic school, so I was very, very worried uh, that the nuns were gonna get super upset because it was on a bathing suit by the, uh, on the beach. That commercial was a launching pad to start up, but for a time, Pagara thought success meant losing her accent. I realized that when I moved to LA, I'm like, I'm gonna fix it. Uh, it didn't happen, no matter what, and then it was like not letting me get anything done when I would go to auditions because all I was thinking about was my pronunciation and not the, about the acting. So the moment that I said, you know what, let's see if I get anything just being myself and I did And she continues to do it as an actress, producer, entrepreneur and judge on America's Got Talent. When you arrived here in the United States, did you ever imagine you build this kind of career? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm very happy and very grateful because it's been more than I thought it was. But with all of the success, there were challenges, including this past year, when she announced she and Joe Manganiello, her husband of seven years, were divorcing. And the world took notice when that happened. Yeah. Did you expect that? Uh, yeah, of course. You're like, you know, you're out there and people know that's part of being a celebrity. I knew it was going to happen. You can't hide those things. How did you overcome that? It wasn't bad. I think, you know, I have to say the press was very respectful and very nice. And I thought that they were going to invent more things, you know, how they usually is. And I was surprised. And, you know, they kind of like just said what it was and, and that was it. And, you know, being moving on. Moving on and moving forward. Sophia Vergara in a whole new light. It's been a wonderful life. But of course, you have to work. You have to work more than anyone if you have an accent like me. <laughs> and, you know, you have to prove yourself more if you're a minority. You have to be more serious because you might not get that many opportunities. It hasn't been easy, but, I mean, it's been amazing. I'm the master